Hey everyone, Mayhem here, coming to you live from the Discord Dimension with another episode of Mayhem's Equestrian Reviews, where today we will be reviewing My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 1, Episode 13, Fall Weather Friends. So now for a brief plot synopsis. So at the beginning, Applejack and Rainbow Dash are fighting each other in competitions to prove who's the better athlete, but they keep tying our one... Uh, and such like that. So they challenge each other to an Iron Pony contest where they compete in several different athletic events to prove who's the better athlete. The problem is, it's a tight game for the first third of the match. But after that first third of the match, something bad happens. Apple, uh, well, Rainbow Dash starts cheating by using her wings, and she ends up winning due to her cheating. She wins by a landslide. Applejack says it is unfair, uh, so she challenges her to. Uh, race in the Running of the Leaves, which is an annual event in Ponyville, where they run through the forest and knock all the leaves off the trees. Uh, Rainbow Dash agrees, and the rules is she can't use her wings, so her wings are tied behind her back. So, uh, and even Twilight Sparkle competes in the race, uh, but everyone's like, haha, there's no way she'll ever win. Uh, so the race begins. Now, this is where some stuff happens. Uh, the race starts off honest, but then... Rainbow Dash starts cheating halfway through after she realizes that it's a really close race and she's starting to lose. So, in the end, Applejack also starts to cheat, and they start fighting each other, and in the end, they tie for last place. So, it's a really cliched, mor uh, cliched ending, but it does really uh, get across the moral of cheaters never win, don't cheat. And that's a pretty good moral. Now, as for the other characters in this episode... Uh, uh, Twilight Sparkle got fifth place in the race. I really loved uh, Twilight Sparkle's role in this episode for one specific reason. She was very smart in this episode. Now, a complaint I've had on several episodes in the past is that uh, Twilight Sparkle's acted dumb during the uh, during the episode, which I don't like because, as I've said many times, I identify most of Twilight Sparkle. She's the most like me, so when she does something stupid. It kind of is like saying that I'm stupid, and that makes me angry. But this time, she was very smart. She did the whole uh, don't use up all your energy to the very end of the race, and she got fifth place, and she was the smartest pony in the episode, which made me really happy. And for another thing, Pinkie Pie was pretty good in this episode. She was the funniest in the episode as she went in the balloon, and something that made me really happy was the fact that she was nice to Spike. Uh, Spike's always been the whipping boy of the series. He never really gets a break, but this time Pinkie Pie actually let him on the balloon to commentate with him, which is what Spike really wanted to do. So finally someone is giving a little love to Spike, which I really like because he, he's always, he never gets enough love. He has the potential to be such a good character, but they always just make him the whipping boy, and it's pretty annoying. This brings up one of the funniest parts of the episode, which is Pinkie Pie's commentary on the blimp. Now, at the beginning, Spike brings up how Applejack and Rainbow Dash have a grudge, and Pinkie Pie says, oh, grudge limes are fudge, and Spike's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, and Pinkie Pie's like, I love fudge, but when I eat too much fudge, I get a pudge and I can't budge. And that part I found really funny, it cracked me up. Uh, it was one of the few things that cracked me up in this episode, because honestly, it wasn't that funny of an episode. Uh, the main highlight, the funniest part of the episode, was Pinkie Pie's commentary on the blimp when it comes to comedy. Uh, and so it wasn't that funny of an episode. And one of the references that I loved the most about this was Twilight Sparkle, because if you looked hard enough, if you saw Sparkle's number in uh, Twilight Sparkle's number in the race was 42. The answer to life, the universe, and everything from A Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And I found that really funny. Uh, it was a clever reference. I bet it, I'm pretty sure it was in, in there on purpose. I don't, can't see how it was an accident that they put it made her number 42. It can't be a coincidence. Uh, so it was just really funny. The most important part about this episode was how it started to establish Applejack's character. Before then... Applejack was kind of bland in the first few episodes, and she's always been a bit bland, but this started establishing her as the element of harmony. Because if you notice in the episode, it's always, whenever they start cheating, it's always Rainbow Dash who starts it, and the only reason Applejack starts cheating is to combat uh, Rainbow Dash's cheating, which is really good because she's the element of honesty. An element of honesty wouldn't start cheating 
and uh, since he's just uh, she still hasn't grown too much as a character since the beginning of the series, she still falls into the trap of cheating, but not after, uh, but only after being provoked by Rainbow Dash's cheating, which helps establish the fact that she's the element of harmony, uh, the element of uh, of honesty is what I mean. So it's a good character development right then and there. And when it came to what I thought about the episode, the beginning I found boring. The whole Iron Pony competition, it got kind of old quickly, but it was okay. When it got to the race, I found that quite entertaining. There was some good slapstick about how it, all the race was going, and I found that quite entertaining. Uh, but overall, it wasn't that funny of an episode because of the fact that Pinkie Pie's commentary is pretty much the only super funny part of the episode. But other than the lack of commentary and the uh, fact that uh, uh, the element of honesty cheated and stuff, and the cliched ending, other than those three things, just about every other aspect of, of this episode was perfect, and that I'm glad that they made such a good episode, even without comedy. So, uh, despite not ha being super funny, it was still a clever and interesting episode. And for that, I will have to give it four out of five stars. Do you agree with me? Did I rate it right? Did I rate it wrong? What do you think? Leave a comment in the section below to tell me your opinion. And, and next time, I'll be reviewing another episode. But until next time, I'm Mayhem, coming to you live from the Discord dimension. And goodbye!